Good morning students. Welcome to the quick solution of All India Akash test series 2020. This is test number 3, code A and code B for chemistry conducted on 10th of November 2019. Class, let's start with the first question of chemistry which is question number 46. Brass is an alloy of copper and the given options are zinc, tin, nickel and manganese. Class, it is very clear that brass is an alloy of copper and zinc in which copper is 60% and zinc is 40%. So, the correct answer for this question is option number 1. Students, let's move to the next question which is question number 47. Let's read the question, students. The iron which is colored not due to DD transition is. Students, DD transition is not possible either in D0 state or in D10 configuration. So, let's come to the options, students. First is copper NH3 hole 4 2 plus. In this case, copper has D9 configuration. So, in this case, DD transition is possible. Let's come to the next option, students which is nickel H2O whole 6 2 plus. Students in this case also nickel has D8 configuration. So again DD transition is possible. Let's come to the next option students which is MnO4 minus. In this case Mn has D0 configuration. So it is very clear that DD transition is not possible in MnO4 minus. Let's come to the last option which is Fe H2O whole 6 3 plus. In this case Fe has D5 configuration. So again DD transition is possible. Plus also in case of MnO4 minus the color is due to charge transfer. Let me draw the structure of MnO4 minus in which the central metal is electron deficient and the ligands are electron rich. So charge transfer takes place from electron rich oxygen to electron deficient manganese. Therefore, the correct answer for this question is option number 3. Class, let's move to the next question which is question number 48. Let's read the question class. FeSO4 on thermal decomposition gives gas X plus gas Y plus solid Z. We have to identify the gases X and Y. The given options are SO2 and O2. The next is SO2 and SO3. The next is SO3 and O2. And the last option is SO2 and O3. Class, for this question, I have to write a reaction to FeSO4 solid decompose on heating to give Fe2O3 which is solid plus a gas SO2 and a gas SO3. So class it is very clear that two gases are evolved during the decomposition of FeSO4 which is SO2 and SO3. So the correct option for this question is number 2. So let's move to the next question which is question number 49. Let's see the question. Most basic oxide of chromium is, the given options are CrO, CrO3, CrO2 and Cr2O3. Plus, in this question, we need to understand that in lower oxidation state, the metal oxides are more basic. And as the oxidation state increases, the acidic character of metal oxides increases. So, it is very clear that in case of CrO, the oxidation state of chromium is least which is plus 2. So, the most basic oxide of chromium among the given options is CrO which is number 1. So, let's move to the next question. The equivalent weight of KmNO4 is equal to one-fifth of its molecular weight. When it converts to, the given options are Mn3O4, next is Mn2O3, the next option is MnSO4 and the last option is MnO2. Plus in this question we are given with equivalent weight of MnO4 
as one fifth of its molecular weight. So first of all, I'm writing the formula of equivalent weight, which is molar mass upon n factor. So class, as it is given, the equivalent weight is one fifth of its molecular weight. So we can easily say that n factor is five. So we have to analyze that in which case the change in oxidation state is five per unit of KMnO4. So it is very clear that in case of KMnO4, the oxidation state of Mn is plus seven. So it must change to plus two oxidation state to get an n factor of five, which is only possible in the case of MnSO4 as the oxidation state of Mn in MnSO4 is plus 2. So the correct answer for this question is option number 3. Let's move to the next question class.